Are you working from home? Criminals are. They've tailored their schemes to take advantage of us while we're browsing our computers or desperate for a cure or wondering about stimulus checks. Investigative reporter Chris Horn talked with a local expert who's been tracking the rise in cybercrime. Here's the formula. More time at home means more time online, and that equals more vulnerability to online schemes. Seniors are a key target, but not the only target. Particularly for older adults who may not be as used to using uh, technology. Often it's health claims and medical fraud, like miracle cures for coronavirus. But it might be pop-up offers of IT support saying your computer and data are at risk. The other end of the line is someone saying, well, we're going to help you fix your computer. It's going to cost a couple hundred bucks. Instead, they do nothing more than what you can do on your own, like clearing your browser history. Federal Trade Commission numbers point out how older Americans are getting taken far more often by fraudsters. People over 50 lost $120 million in the first quarter of last year. This year, it was $188 million, so it's up 57%. Payne says research a company before you buy a product or service. Text messages are another form for fraud with victims young and old alike waiting for their stimulus checks. So it looks like it's coming from the government. It looks like it's about your stimulus check. But it's really just a scam to get your personal financial info. Payne says also be cautious of Facebook games that ask you 20 questions about your high school graduation or maybe another life event. You could be divulging clues that could jeopardize your passwords. As bad as those numbers are, Payne says they're almost certainly underreported. There are people out there that have already gotten ripped off. They're waiting for an item they've ordered that will never come, while others are just too embarrassed to admit that they got taken by a scammer. Chris Horn, 10 in your side.